Gotta go sunshine In a bag I'm useless But not for long The future is coming on I ain't happy I'm feeling glad um, what's up guys, um, Avenger123456 here, back again for another Marvel toy review, and this time it's Marvel Legends, uh, no, Marvel Selector, so this is a very, very cool figure, the Marvel Select figures are not the best at the articulation, but the details on the figure are very, very dope, so let's take a look first on the packaging before the figure so this is the packaging of Marvel Selector there's a insignia right here of Thor of a hammer with a lightning right here I don't, I don't know if you can really see it and there's a Thor um, there's Marvel Select then there's a picture right here of the video where you can see Thor's face but I don't really know if you can see it so yeah, I got it. Two reds at 1.2k. Not a bad price, but oh, I got the figure. At the back of the packaging, you can see Thor right here. The Thor, the bio of Thor right here. Diamond Select. And the other Marvel Select figures from this wave, there's Bucky, Captain America, and um, old, no, Marvel Select. Oh, I plan to get this figure because he's very very awesome. I, I've seen this guy in person. Very very cool guy. And on the side of the packaging, there's a drawing of Thor right here. Good drawing though. So that's it about the packaging. Let's talk about the figure. So this is Marvel Selector. Very very cool figure. Um. There's a, a story about this figure when I get this guy. Um, I'm going to my hobby shop and um, I'm going to buy a Series 3 Thor, but when i going to buy it, the Series 3 Thor was gone. So I've seen this guy, so I figured, no, why not? This very, very cool figure. So let's talk about the detailing. I think this is the modern Thor, uh, modern Thor on the comics because it has the armor and black costume. So very very nice detail on the armor right here. Very very nice. This has black on it. The belt it looks like it's leather. Very very cool. Now let's talk about the the face. It's very very awesome. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very very nice. So that's it. Let's talk about articulation. The arms can rotate 360 degrees, but it's hindered by this cape. Oh, by the way, the cape is made by leathery plastic. It looks like leather, though. By the way, the lower arms can go side to side. It cannot rotate 360 degrees. It has a closed fist and a semi-open fist, so where you can put the hammer. So the other arm also can rotate 360 degrees but hinder the decay, can go side to side, very tight joints. It has one point always only on the lower arm right here, rotates on the head. The head can rotate 360 degrees, can go up and down, cannot can go up a little bit because it's hindered by the hair right here. It has a waist articulation. Um, it can go when you can go the knee arc here you can rotate 360 degrees can go size up and down so that's it the foot can go up and down also so that's the articulation but you can still put a some flying poses right here there still poseable not a very bad figure. It can still be a huge um, substitute on the figure. So that's Marvel Selector for size comparison. I've worked 
um, Marble Legend Solution they basically have the same height so if you have a Ultron they have the same height so I rate this figure 8 out of 10 I know 10 out of 10 this is a very 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 great figure it can be a substitute to the series 3 tower it, it has the same height as the series 3 tower also I saw a video on YouTube when you I will show the all of the towers out there I will put the YouTube name right here so you can see the video um, so that's it my website tour um, I want you to subscribe to Advocate it's a very cool guy it's a friend of mine he has an awesome, awesome collection. He has also a great customs for his friend. I will put a link on his name right here. Advocate, subscribe to him. So that's it. I like this figure 10 out of 10. Very cool figure. I recommend this guy to you. So this is Avengers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.